the worst named AI chatbot ever made headlines this week. Before we even start, can you guess what it is? No? Well, you'll have to wait to find out. Welcome back to This Week in AI. This week, we're covering stories about OpenAI, chatting with Satan GPT, the largest model on Hugging Face, and the next great project from DeepMind. As always, timestamps are in the description if you want to skip around. If you stick around to the end, you'll learn how to get access to our new free mini AI chat GPT prompting course before anyone else. Let's dive straight in with moderator GPT. The concept of content moderation, a long-standing issue on the internet, may be getting a tech boost from GPT-4. Let me tell you, OpenAI, the maker of ChatGPT, believes it can use its artificial intelligence model to create a scalable, consistent and customizable content moderation system. This system would not only flag inappropriate or questionable content, but also help develop policy changes, adapting instantaneously as policies are updated. Lillian Weng, Vic Goel, and Andrea Valona, the trio behind this operation, hope this system can handle the heavy global moderation workload, thus mitigating human moderators' mental stress. However, there might be some hiccups. It's been noted that shortcomings often occur with AI models, leading to incorrect content decisions. So, while taking steps to lessen the burden on human reviewers, OpenAI believes humans should still play a part in validating and refining AI judgments. They want to ensure a careful blend of technology and human oversight. So, will GPT-4 streamline the moderation process while maintaining accuracy? And what could this mean for the future of content moderation? Fancy a chat with Jesus, or maybe even Satan? Well, in this strange world of ours, you can, thanks to an AI-powered app called Text with Jesus. It's geared towards those individuals eager to deepen their connection with biblical figures. Even better, you can text a whole host of characters like Mary, Joseph, Peter and Matthew. But wait, there's a twist. For £2.35p per month, you can chat with Satan. Now, I know what you're thinking, how does that work? The app uses its language model to generate responses based on a wide range of religious and biblical texts. The developers stressed, however, this tool isn't divine, just a means to encourage meaningful conversations about faith. The insider team quizzed AI Satan on a variety of topics and got some interesting responses. They found it to be arguably off character, but then again, who knows what game Satan is playing? Would you pay to talk to Satan? Let us know in the comments below. Well, here's a bit of techno wizardry to get your head around. IBM, that titan of tech, has joined forces with none other than NASA and open source AI platform, Hugging Face. So what's the big deal? Well, it's literally huge. They've made IBM's Geospatial Foundation model, a platform built from NASA's satellite data accessible for everyone on Hugging Face. And this isn't just any model, mind. It's the largest of its kind on Hugging Face. Sriram Raghavan, Vice President of IBM Research AI, remarked that this move will leverage collaboration to create faster and more impactful solutions that will improve our planet. But if you're now wondering about the model itself, it was trained on harmonized Landsat Sentinel-2 satellite data and has shown a 15% improvement over current techniques using half the amount of labeled data. With this model, we can monitor environmental issues like deforestation, predict crop yields, and even keep an eye on greenhouse gases. IBM researchers and those from NASA are also working with Clark University to adapt the model for even more uses. Open sourcing this model paves the way for many researchers or scientists to explore the data and make their own discoveries. Well, now we have the MyoSuite platform, developed by Meta AI and a bunch of universities, which is making strides in the world of robotics by using AI to learn human-like movements. Their latest project uses simulated body parts that babble and fiddle with objects like toddlers, exploring how they work. Vikash Kumar, a lead researcher, explains that trying to replicate the muscle movements in humans is much more complex than what you find in usual robots. Mark Zuckerberg stated that this could help create more realistic avatars for the metaverse. The project was kickstarted by Meta AI's fundamental AI research branch, showing potential beyond just scientific research. Just last year, Meta hosted the Mayo Challenge 2022, a competition testing the AI's ability to manipulate objects, but it was clear they were not great at generalizing. This prompted the Meta team to try to teach the AI to learn how to maneuver a range of items using their simulated arms and legs. The researchers found that the AI picked up object handling much faster by allowing it to experiment in the same way a toddler would. Working on this technology, there's a potential need to provide the AI with more complex physiological models to control. So, could a machine ever truly understand the world like a human child? Well, now it seems like we're entering a new AI chat era, 
with the introduction of Janitor AI Pro, arguably the worst named AI tech we've ever heard. This horribly named AI is shaking up the digital world, but it isn't just another chat platform. This one's got a twist. Janitor AI Pro is the most popular and fastest growing not safe for work AI chatbot out there, drawing in a whopping 1 million users in just 11 days. The Janitor app, nope, still not a better name, stands apart from the crowd by providing a space for unrestricted, not safe for work chats. A stark contrast to the constrained platforms we're used to. The whipped cream on top? This platform isn't just about chatting, it's about crafting your own unique experience. You can have your pick from a variety of character styles and even create your own AI characters to chat with. Your wildest fantasies are literally at your fingertips. So, with all this considered, one begins to wonder, because the name is literally the worst, why did they go for a profession that cleans for a living when the chat naturally will most certainly not be? Big ruling this week, according to a US court, art made by artificial intelligence, also known as AI, can't be copyrighted. US District Judge Beryl Howell made it crystal clear that only creations with a human touch can have copyright. This decision mops up the appeals by computer scientist Stephen Thaler, who'd been knocking on copyright's door for a work of art created by Darbus, a system of his own invention. Despite his best efforts, rights to creations made by AI have been a bit like slippery soap for Mr. Thaler. Difficult to hold on to. Thaler's attorney, Ryan Abbott, didn't mince his words when he said they don't quite see eye to eye with the ruling, and an appeal is on the cards. What's interesting is how all this has stirred up questions about the cogs and gears of copyright law in an evolving tech world. If machines kickstart the next art revolution, where does this leave us in the copyright quagmire? What will Hollywood do with its plan to replace writers and actors with AI-generated content? Well now, here's a twist to our digital age. DeepMind, the AI division of Google, has unveiled its project on a very human-like tool, a personal life coach. DeepMind's life coach can perform an array of personal and professional tasks. The idea is simple yet astounding. You ask an intimate question, and this artificially intelligent guru advises you. One aspect people are particularly interested in is the idea creation feature. It's designed to nudge you with suggestions or recommendations comprising various situations. Plus, it even offers to enhance skills like running and gives you meal and workout plans. However, this development is not without its critics. Dr. Christian Gutmann, a top AI scientist from Pegasystems, highlights the ethical concerns over chatbots. In a statement by Dr. Gutmann, he reaffirmed the importance of treating AI advice as you would from a professional, ensuring their recommendations are safe, sound, and responsible. Google is adamant about upholding these principles. As Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google and Alphabet, stated earlier this year, the focus is on responsible development of AI. So are we ready to outsource our decisions to machines and let AI call the shots? Thanks for watching today. If you made it to the end, we're about to launch a new newsletter. The weekly newsletter will cover all the new and exciting things happening in AI and highlight the latest tools and plugins we hear about. As a major bonus, those who sign up today before we launch will get a five-part mini AI chatbot prompting course. We've been using AI since before it came out and have learned through trial and error the most effective ways to prompt. By using our methods and secrets, you can become 32 times more effective at prompting and getting the result you want. Check out the link in the description. Tectonic Shift is your number one source for all things AI, so please subscribe to stay up to date and drop us a like and a comment if you liked the video. Thanks for watching.